unfortunately not able to defend your title as Pancake Champions, but a good day nonetheless. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm a member here and I, I do like coming here a lot and we had good fun and we have done for the last two years. A bit disappointed not to, to retain the title, but Buckley is now the uh, top toss of the Dragons. I think there'll be a few jokes on social media, we'll leave them out of this video. A bit of word on Buckley, so he was chosen as, a, as the best pancake, but quite a turnaround. He burnt a pan and had to swap it over and start again. Yeah, I think um, he's a quick learner, Reese is, and uh, to be fair to him, he, uh, he adapted really well. And uh, he managed to pull it out the bag by uh, having what was a unique face followed by the dragon's emblem. So it was a, it was a good challenge, good fun for him. I know a bit of a captain's performance from you. Once you were out of a competition, you and Adam Hughes teamed up, and you must have felt you were close, just edged out by County at the end. Yeah, I mean, Adam was fantastic at making scrambled eggs, so he, he performed really well on that side of things. And towards the end, we just rallied together and helped uh, Reese to try and perfect it, but unfortunately, it wasn't quite good enough. And they uh, say so County got the, uh, the, the, the pancake and the, the trophy with it. And just a word on yourself, first time we've caught up with you since that new contract, which was signed a couple of weeks ago, keeps you of the region to 2019. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic for me. I mean, I've, I've just celebrated the testimony last year with Ashley Smith, and uh, it's just another two and a half or three years left uh, to kind of really perform and uh, enjoy my time here. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I embrace all the challenges, and uh, I know it's going to be tough, but uh, I, I, can, I can see the positive future ahead. And a couple of your teammates as well committing their futures in the last couple of weeks and, and some long-term deals in that. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic that uh, we've got some youth re-signing and we've also got some of the older senior guys re-signing. So it's a nice balance to have and going forward, I think that's the mixture we need to get better. Um, and, I, and like I said, I, just, I, I genuinely believe that uh, the future is uh, positive as long as we stick to what we believe in and everyone remains optimistic, I think. And just lastly this weekend, Guinness Pro 12 carries on. You're up in Glasgow on Saturday afternoon. A narrow defeat back at Rodney Parade in September. You must be looking forward to a challenge to try and set that right up in Glasgow. Yeah, uh, Glasgow are a very good opposition and going up to there is no, you know, it's no mean feat, but we have won there before. And uh, this year we had a very good performance and we were just pipped at the post towards the end. So uh, we're going to go up there with a positive attitude. Um, I think we need to right a few wrongs from last week as well. And, I think with the, the squad that we've got and we've picked, I think uh, we're going to go out there and you know, hopefully we're going to get the win.